Hi everybody, I wanted to come on here and do a really quick video today about why we shouldn't push through pain when we exercise. So probably the hardest thing about my job and the work that I do is not about diagnosing complicated things or figuring out which exercise I need to give somebody. Um, it really isn't about the kind of physical thing that the person is doing. It's about making sure that my clients, the people that I work with, understand the basic principle of if you are pushing through pain in order to achieve something. So if you are doing a movement that makes your pain feel worse or makes your body feel more tense afterwards, aggravates your symptoms, or whatever it might be, the exercise isn't for you. Um, if you can adhere to that basic principle and only focus on exercises that make your body feel good, you will progress and you will get rid of symptoms and you'll get rid of pain that you've had for years and years and years. The problem that we have is that we live in a world where everybody kind of pushes through pain. It's go, 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 very alpha mindset. Um, I'm weak if I don't do this thing. I've got to prove myself. Uh, I've got to prove myself to somebody else, myself. I don't know who we're trying to prove ourselves to, but we are. And we mustn't push through pain because pain is that wisdom from our body asking us to listen to what it is trying to tell us. We, as silly mere mortal humans, cannot outsmart our bodies, which are much more intuitive, much more primal, much more natural and much wiser than our ego led brains. And I am reading. Well, I've read this book before, but I'm rereading sections of this um, for things that I am working on improving. Uh, this amazing book called Muscular Retraining for Pain-Free Living, and it's by Craig Williamson. So if you're watching this video, you're probably somebody who has read one or more of the Pete Agoski books, the Agoski Method books, which are fantastic. This is along similar lines, but it's a bit it's a bit different. It's a bit softer. It's a bit more feminine in its approach. It's a bit more gentle and a bit more perhaps like philosophical, shall I say. Um, and that is not to uh, bag out the Peter Gosky books because they're incredible, but in a slightly different way. But basically, I've loved this book. It's been fantastic. It's given me lots of new ideas for exercises, which I'm integrating into like my classes and courses at the moment. But I wanted to just read a passage um, that he says about not pushing through pain. So I haven't ever resonated with a few paragraphs more than I do in this book. So I just wanted to read this. It's from page 142 of my copy. And he says what I want to say much more concisely than I can. So a word regarding painful exercises. The exercises in this book are not intended to be painful. If you are in pain while doing an exercise, it is likely that you will not be able to relax, which will undermine the purpose of the exercise. Also, pain is usually an indicator that you are either doing the exercises too forcefully or too fast, or that your body is just not ready to do it. If you feel pain whilst doing any of these exercises, is respect your body, be patient and back off a little. If the pain is such that you can let it be there and still relax around it, then you can proceed slowly. If the pain is such that you cannot relax, then modify the exercise or don't do it. For years, I resisted using the term exercises to refer to these corrective movements and positions because for many people, the word exercise means working through pain, pushing hard and straining muscles, none of these concepts apply to these movements. On the other hand, the term exercise also suggests something that you can practice, which definitely applies to these movements. So for lack of a better word, I refer, refer to these movements and positions as exercises. So I wanted to read that out, I guess partially to kind of reconfirm that it is not just me saying these things. If you're pushing through pain, your body is not happy and you are not going to feel good afterwards. You can't win. We've got to find another exercise, an alternative way in. We can't just keep beating down the same door. So hopefully that resonates with somebody today and I hope you enjoyed.